check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. Well, speaking of AEW, we got to talk about this show because uh, they build three big matches. And for the main event, which was the Swerve Strickland Okada match, I think we pretty much predicted not going to be a finish. Everybody's going to run in and brawl. And that's exactly what they did. Yeah. And then for the match with Mercedes, I think we all knew it was going to happen there. She's going to beat Nyla Rose. And then there was the opener, which was Will Ospreay and MJF. And I figured that uh, MJF was winning the title, probably to set up a rematch at Wembley. That's and, what it looked uh, like. That's what it looked like. I do have to say that I I always watch this on delay, so I always hear what happens. And I heard that they went an hour. But I didn't hear that there was a finish. I only heard they went an hour. So I started watching this match. And they were and, going an hour. Well, yeah, I'm watching them go an hour, and I thought, man, they're going to do a draw. I was not expecting a draw. That was one finish I was not expecting. With two seconds left, MJF beat him. You know it was actually one second left? It actually was, yeah, but they said it was, two. It was, it, was, it was 59-59, you know. But the point is, he that, beat which him. Is, which, is, which is amazing because I have seen so many times that people have tried to do pins at 59-59, and I, I don't know that I've ever seen one actually pull it off. The fact they pulled it off like that, I mean, like, you know, like they would have announced it was 59-59 if they'd gone three seconds long or five seconds short or whatever, because, you you know, and all that. But they actually pulled that off, which is, I mean, that's amazing to pull it off at the, to the second. Aside from the fact this match was incredible. I mean, the, the other thing with this match I thought was, you know, this match did not feel like a like like they were at thirty minutes, and I was feeling like God, we're at like fifteen minutes. This match was the well, shortest even the announcers, the announcers uh, at, at about the eighteen minute mark, they were like, "We're about ten minutes in right now," <laughs> and I was like, "No, you were eighteen minutes in, and you think it's this, ten minutes in." This was one of the fastest one hour matches I have ever. It, it may have been the fastest one hour match I've ever seen. Um, and they did not work at a sixty minute pace. I mean. No, they worked a solid, fast clip to they the worked, point where they, they were they, they worked a 22 to 25 minute pace. Yes. And at about 55 minutes, I mean, they were working like they were about 18 minutes in. I yeah. mean, they were sprinting there at the end. And the funny thing is, like when the match is over, you know, they bring in all these guys to take care of them. They're putting ice packs all over Osprey and they're giving oxygen to MGF. He's got this giant oxygen mask on. Yeah. And I'm just saying, I just watched it like three minutes ago, and you were like sprinting, and everything was fine, but now you need yeah. oxygen. But yeah, they worked an incredible, incredible pace for 59 minutes and 59 seconds. And at the and you end... Know, you, know, you, know what, you know what else? They went 59 minutes and 59 seconds. They did a lot of stuff that was not simple, especially Osprey, but even Max did a few things. Um, I mean, Max took it all, though. He took it all. There was not... I did not see one thing that didn't look good. I mean, it was like everything they did. And I mean, they were doing like, you know, so many things. And when the longer you go um, in a match like this, when you're doing the high flying stuff, it increases your odds just because of sheer tiredness. And, and also the ropes getting slippery and you getting sweaty and things like that. You know, your, your, your degree of difficulty um, if you're in these long matches trying to do a match like that. I mean, you don't see 60-minute Lucha Libre matches like ever. I mean, maybe you did 100 years ago, you know, or something. I know you, I know, the, I know, they had them in the 50s and 60s, but they also weren't working like this. I mean, it was really, the the, the, the execution was, was incredible. Um, I, uh, you know, you, I mean, you can't say enough for both guys. I mean, they 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 were they were fantastic. In they were they were quite fantastic. And you know what? The I thought the most defining thing of this entire match was. So they're going long, and they pass a thirty-minute mark. They pass a thirty-five-minute mark, and I would think that by the time they got to the forty-minute mark, I would think that most fans figured it's probably going to be a draw. Oh, I think at 40 minutes, most people probably figured that, yeah. But they they never lost the crowd. The crowd was going nuts well, yeah, well, well, at 45 well, minutes. But, I mean, you're at never... At 50 minutes. You're never going to lose the crowd working 55, like this. You're never going to lose the crowd working well, like that. Well, my point is, they they get to 59 minutes, 
and uh, 55 seconds or whatever. MJF hits him with the dynamite diamond ring after the referee had taken a bump. And MJF covers him with four seconds left, okay? They're four seconds away from no finish, a draw. And the ref counts one, two, and they get a finish, and they're furious that MJF beat this guy. And I thought, of course they are. Of course they are. Yeah, but you know what? They were more angry that MJF won than if they would have watched a 60 minute match with no finish. And usually at 60 minutes, I mean, you'll you'll get well, some people M- booing because there's not a finish. It goes M- to the time M- M- limit. MJF's the heel. He is. They were furious when that guy won that match. With although one although, second al- left. Although the th- the thing is, is that as a heel, to a degree, they're not supposed to respect you, and it's hard not to respect a guy who does that match. Um, and plus, he did that uh, thing. I, you know, after he nearly freaking ruined his hip doing that uh, elbow thing off the top ropes onto a table. Granted, the table was on the floor where the table had collapsed when he got hurt, but he went and did that again. And when he was up there, because he teased it one time, and it was just like, don't do I mean, like, I know Will Ospreay is going to do it because you can't help Will Ospreay, and that's his thing. I mean, Max's thing is to work not risky, smart, don't get hurt. And he went and did that because he did it for whatever reason, you know, um, had to do something, I guess, you know, but I mean, Will Ospreay did like a million things that, I mean, he did stuff he never does. Display, he hasn't done that space, space flying tiger drop thing in I, probably years. You know, he did that one. Yeah, he used to do that when he was, you know, junior heavyweight in every match, which was just like, you don't need to do it in every match. And he brought that back and, um, just all kinds of stuff. Every AJ style, just a styles clash off the middle ropes. Um, he had the match won, but he... So here's the thing. He he refused to do the Tiger Driver. And he actually refused to do it this time. Yeah, Unlike I mean, he, in the Swerve match. Yeah. In this one, he, he set it up, but he couldn't bring himself to do it. He couldn't bring himself to do it. And finally, he, he lifted him up. And he still and, couldn't bring himself to he, do and it. He, and, he, and he put him back. And he put him back down. And this is like with what twenty seconds, ten seconds left. Yep. And then Max pulls out the ring and beats him. So it's like right at the finish, he does this, and like if he did this to me as a story, he's wrestling Swerve Strickland for the title, and he does that. At least Swerve Strickland is a babyface he respects. And it actually makes sense in its own weird way, even though it's kind of a weird thing. And you know, obviously, they're building the story up, okay? But with with MJF, I don't think it works as well because it's like, this is like a real feud. Like, if he's got qualms about Strickland, even though they, they definitely built it up as a grudge match, it's a different kind of a grudge match. It's like a who's the best, and we don't want to kill each other. We just want to prove who's the best. With Max, this was more of a grudge match. But... He didn't do it, which is kind of like, you know, I I hate the idea of the baby face being stupid type of a thing um, and then losing because then it's kind of like, well, you're not really the baby face. You were stupid. Um, Nevertheless, this is it appeared to me based on that, that this was a way to build a rematch for Wembley. And, um, you know, I mean, it's not like a rematch. Of a, even though it's like a, a, a classic match, maybe the best match in Dynamite history, and certainly, certainly one of the top five. Um, it's it's not like a match because this match is so good and went nearly six, well, went sixty minutes, and then uh, that you're doing a rematch that it, it will necessarily help propel to sell more tickets. It probably, you know, I, I don't. It usually doesn't work that way, but I'll say this. If I'm going to Wembley Stadium and it's MJF and and Will Ospreay, and I've already got my ticket, I'm not saying it's going to get me everything like that. The watching this, the two things are if you because the first match went an hour, you almost have to go thirty in the rematch, and these two guys going thirty in a rematch is probably going to be a match of the year contender, because this was, and. And, you know, it won't be any worse at 30. It may even be better, but it ain't going to be any worse. And, you know, so you kind of are looking at this like, like, man, you know. I mean, I mean, it's Danielson and Swerve are going to have a fantastic match, too. So, I mean, this this card, um, 
I mean, the Wembley card could be like uh, with those two matches. You know, again, it depends on the undercard and everything. But you know the undercard's going to be filled with good stuff. This could be really, I mean, on paper, on paper, just in, and, and everything like this, this is probably a better card than the first one already. And we don't even have the whole card. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.